when I was 16, uh, the first car I bought was a 71 Chevy Nova. I bought the car for $700 and I redid the whole car and sold it for a whopping $700. The little lady in my neighborhood, which I'd never seen, I'd lived there for 18, 19 years, rolled out an old 914. I bought the car, I uh, didn't know anything about Porsches. I, I think the nearest Porsche mechanic was an hour or so away. And I was young and 16, so I couldn't afford that anyway. So it forced me to learn how to do it myself. And every car I build, even if it's not one of mine, is a different car. You would think that if you specialize in Porsches, then every car just becomes the same car over time, but it doesn't. I have different cars. This one, I mean, I, I kind of built it to be a, an angry car, and, and it is, and so when you have steam you need to blow off, you drive this one or my blue one, but when you just want to enjoy the day, I'll take out you know, my old 67 Targa and tool around in it, and it's like driving a Cadillac. When I build them the way I want, every car ends up with a different personality. Uh, when I build for clients, obviously that's, that's their dream car that, that we're building for them. I think every car is a different car. And then, you know, there's still, since I am Porsche specific, I still get to play with 914s and 356s and 944s, and they all have a place, and there's fun stuff you can do with all of them. Well, I guess you could say I built my first official outlaw back in 2005. I mean, obviously I've been building Porsches only for about 25 years. Kind of the way that I was raised on the concept of an outlaw. It was basically a, a mindset of you, you took the car and it kind of started with the old 356s. You stripped off anything that didn't make it go fast, i.e., you know, trim and luxury items, make it as light as possible. If it didn't make it go fast, you took it off, you drove it to the track, and you drove it home. And that kind of became the whole outlaw scene, if you want to call it that. There's a certain connectedness that you get out of driving a Porsche that, you know, obviously I didn't experience driving a 71 Nova that drove like a bread truck. And so a 914 was, it was a lot of fun. It was a whole new experience of a car that actually handled and went around curves and you feel very connected in it. There's, there's nothing you don't need. That's kind of the German way. If you don't need it, it's not there. There's no cup holders, a back seat-ish, but you know, you don't need those things. different attitude, there's a just different personality. It's also one of the most rewarding cars, I think. But the more you learn and the more you drive it, the more rewarded you feel when you do push it to a limit. 